Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try one of these new uh, banquet mega meats. Mega meats. It is the cowboy chicken with homestyle mashed potatoes. It's herb roasted chicken thigh and drumstick with mashed potatoes. Um, it looks really good. There's the mashed potatoes. Um, we bought this at Walmart. It was $2.98. So it's um, actually I don't think that's too bad for the. It seems like a pretty good sized meal. Um, and you're paying for the good calories too. 510 calories. And there's the other info. Sodium, you're paying for a lot of salt too. So, you know, you get bonus extra extra salt in these. Uh, conventional oven you can do, but we don't do that. So, um, so we do microwave. So we're going to move the film from the meat. Microwave on high for four minutes. Stir the potatoes. Uh, microwave an additional two to three minutes. And then make sure it's cooked hot enough. So it doesn't say anything about removing the film. So remove film from meal. Oh, duh. From meal, not meat. That's my bad. That's my bad vision. So you take the plastic off the whole thing. Gotcha. Four minutes. Stir potatoes. Two to three minutes. Okay. Makes sense. Now. Oh, pretty good sized pieces of chicken actually. That's uh, decent size. They sometimes are really tiny. This, those are good size. Well, I guess I'm just gonna pull this out. Of course, it's gonna come off in ten different pieces. But there we go. There's the potatoes, and I'm going to put that little piece of frozen potato back in there because if you don't, it'll melt all of your chicken. There we go. So, um, yeah, it smells really good. It's got a good seasoning to it, um, too. So, I'm going to get this in the microwave, and I'll be right back. All right, here it is out of the microwave, and um, you can see this one's got a lot of seasoning on it. The left does not have, it doesn't have a lot. I mean, there's some, but I don't think it got really coated in the seasonings. It's got a little bit, but I think this is where most of the flavor is going to be. So that'll be okay. This one will be really good in season. And then the, the potatoes um, seem to be pretty good. They're um, they're filled a little thick from just the fork, but you can't really tell a lot from just stirring them up. So, um, so I'm supposed to let this sit for a minute anyway. I'm going to let this cool off a bit. And I'll probably just try the potatoes first. So anyway, um, I'll be back. Okay, I think it's had some time to cool off. Here's some mashed potatoes I'm going to try first. It has... Uh, it looks, it looks like skin. The skin from the potatoes are in there. Um, they might have some, it doesn't really say. Oh, with scallions. Okay, so it's little green onions, basically. The flavor's good. The um, the scallions are a little, you're turning at an angle. Um, the scallions are a little, a little tough. They've got a chewiness to it, but it's the, it's like the green part of a green onion, kind of, if you kind of think of it that. The potatoes themselves, the flavor's good, but the, they're really thick. They're not quite um, wallpaper paste consistency, but they're getting there. They're 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 almost there. So they are very very thick. Keep that in mind. If you like a thicker potato, then you won't mind this. For me, I'd probably try to thin this out a little bit with uh, just a. A little bit of butter just to stir it up just to thin it out a bit but that that's just me that's not my personal preference um, I'm gonna try the leg first since it doesn't have as much seasoning on it I'm gonna see what it's like um, it seems like it's cooked pretty well it's very it's very good and hot that's for sure okay here's the the leg the drumstick hmm that's a good flavor to it Excuse me, a little piece of fat there. Um, yeah, that has a really good uh, flavor to it. It's really a good and soft and tender piece of chicken. It's not dry at all. It's super, super moist. Um, the flavors are really good, and that one didn't even have the skin on it that had the, the good breading on it or the good seasoning on it like this one does. I'm literally going to, let me see if I can pull apart a piece of the skin. Chicken thighs sometimes are a pain to eat because there's not a ton of meat on them and it's all like packed right on top. Okay, so this one, I've got some of that seasoned skin and the, the meat, so here we go. Hmm. That has a really good flavor. Um, I, like the, I like the flavor of the drumstick, the leg, but if it had had the seasoning on it like the, the thigh did, it would have been even better. So um, I love that savory spice in there. It's not like... Hmm. 
it's not like peppery or anything like that. It's got pepper in it, but it's not like a, a spicy. Now, if you don't like peppery and spicy stuff, you'd be fine. It just has a really good savory flavor. So the chicken is a hit. Uh, like I said, I wish the drumstick had had more seasoning on it, but um, you might get one where both of them are like that or both of them are seasoned really well. You might get one that doesn't have any seasoning on either one of them really. So even the drumstick without the seasoning was still really good. The potatoes, the potatoes kind of fall flat. The flavor wise, um, you know, they just taste like potato. Yeah, the scallions really don't add anything to it. Um, honestly, there's no real flavor there uh, beyond potato. So, and I don't put salt and pepper on them for the review. I eat them just like they are. Um, for me to thin out the potatoes a little bit, I think I would add just a little bit of butter, uh, probably some pepper to that just to spice it up a bit. Um, it needed a little bit more. The potatoes are kind of bland. Overall though, the meal, I'm gonna give it a four. The chicken itself is really, really good. The flavors are excellent. Uh, the potatoes you might have to spice up a bit, but as it stands, it's a four for me. So, um, so yeah, it's definitely worth trying out. If you if you see these in your in your area, like I said, I got it at Walmart. But if you see it in your area, definitely try it out, especially if you like roasted chicken. I uh, hope you enjoy this video. Catch you next time.